Code on Time is an advanced rapid application builder tool that allows creating enterprise-ready applications for mobile devices and the web. While it's not required, the first recommended step to build your next great app is to have a database. In this example, I have a simple test database hosted via Oracle that contains a list of products, organized by category, and with some information about suppliers. Let's learn how to connect to my database and create my first project based on Oracle. In order to connect to Oracle from the App Generator, we'll need to install Oracle Data Access Components. We'll select the Managed option, odp.net, and we'll unzip the file Once extracted, we can see the contents of the directory. A batch file is provided for us to install the provider. We'll need to open the terminal in administrative mode, change to the downloaded folder, and execute the batch script. Let's start PowerShell, making sure to run it as administrator. We'll change to the correct directory and we'll run the following command. The first argument will pass the location where Oracle is installed. The second argument specifies if we want to install the 64-bit or 32-bit version. We'll install both. And the third argument allows us to install it into the global assembly cache. This will be required, so we'll pass true. We can see that the operation has completed successfully. Let's create a new project using the app generator. First, we'll provide a user-friendly name and press Create. On the Connection Settings page, we'll want to select the Oracle Managed Provider, and let's configure our connection string. Our server name will be localhost, if the server is running on your local computer, and specify your username and password. We can press test to ensure that it works. If so, we'll save our connection string and proceed. The next step will have us defining our models. These models represent how the database schema is perceived by the app builder and is used to compose a set of controllers, views, fields, pages, and other elements. Let's start with products. We can see that, by default, all the fields on products will be included in our model. It'll also explore any foreign keys and pick up related fields as necessary. The first required string field will be taken as an alias of the lookup. We can also go ahead and grab additional fields to borrow. For example, the city and country of the supplier. We can also create calculated fields within the model by clicking on the plus SQL button, specifying a name, and setting a formula. We can double check that our calculated field is correct by switching to the data tab. It 
seems like it is correct. Next, we'll want to sort our products by product name in ascending order. Let's go ahead and save the model. Let's make a model for categories. We'll sort by category name. Save. And let's make one for suppliers. And we'll sort by company name. And let's proceed through the rest of the wizard until we get to the generate step. We're now ready to generate the app. Go ahead and press Generate. After a few seconds, the app will be started via Microsoft IIS Express and will open in your default browser. Let's jump into the Products page. We can now view the products that are in the database, Sort, Filter, and search. We can make reports out of the data. And much, much more features are available out of the box. Learn more about building advanced apps and implementing custom business logic by checking out our other videos on this channel.